Hey everybody, what what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can set a stop loss and take uh, action on uh, TradingView. So let's get right into it. Now, uh, TradingView is a useful site which you can use to create a watch list of stocks you're interested in, uh, where you can see their charts and their market tra trajectories. You can use indicators to help you with analyzing the data that you actually see. And you can also trade uh, either demo trade or officially trade if you have a broker account connected and yeah it is very useful if you're in the trading scene now uh to actually set a stop uh or whatever stop loss and uh, take action uh, all you have to do is actually enable the buying and selling buttons which you do by actually connecting to a trader and connect it to paper trading so all you have to do is just go to the trading or the broker uh, tab here and just connect to a trader and all you have to do is click on any of these buttons these are the buy and sell buttons and once you click on them you can put a stock stop loss and take profit if you so choose uh, it is the same for both buying and selling and all you have to do is check these areas and then enter the values that you would like the price changes depending on uh, what you set these values to however if you change the price yourself the price will be locked and the other values will change themselves as you can see uh, in about a second yeah uh, as you can see it changed but yeah all you have to do is just check off these tick boxes and once they are you just set whatever you would like uh, the price, the percentage, the dollar sign uh, value, whatever that is, and the ticks. And once you do, all you have to do is just click buy or sell, depending on what you want. Uh, as you can see, it can't go into the negative, so you do need to make sure that it's not within the negative for uh, selling or the stop loss. And all you have to do is literally just click on either the buy or sell button and just confirm it by clicking on the big button in the bottom. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.